8 at 5 starts now. Their plan was pretty faulty. They're criminals. Their plan was faulty, and it failed. An Alabama prisoner and jailer were prepared for a shootout when they were captured in Indiana after 11 days on the run. Law enforcement in Evansville releasing new details of the final moments of yesterday's police chase that we covered extensively. We covered it as breaking news. Officers say Casey White and Vicki White were in Evansville since May 3rd. They were alerted to the pair's Cadillac at a hotel parking lot. When members of the U.S. Marshals Task Force went to investigate, the couple took off, prompting the chase on U.S. 41. And that's when officers forced the vehicle to wreck in a ditch. Officers believe Vicki White shot herself in the head. She later died at a hospital. Casey White surrendered without a fight. According to officers, the couple were carrying $29,000 in cash, four handguns, and an AR rifle. Uh, officers say Casey White was ready to use the weapons in an ambush against officers. But that changed after the vehicle was wrecked. By our quick thinking, our action, sometimes people may call that a necessary action, but that action may have saved many of my deputies and fellow law enforcement officers' lives. And that's why I represent the Sheriff's Office. I want to bring my people home, and I don't care about the fugitives' lives if it protects my people's lives. According to officers, the couple has no connection to Evansville. Casey White waived his right to extradition. The sheriff would not say when officials from Alabama will come pick him up.